welcome back to some tunic. I'm dear Dani and let's go explore the land in our grand adventure where last time we uh, we got most of our statistics our statistics stats back um, by going to previous hero grave sites. Now we are just trying to do the final one where we are trying to get our stat of defense I believe back. Um, I guess yeah we also got a lot of these coin upgrade things. I don't know how many coin counters we we're on. Um, but yeah, we're, we're basically just trying to do our final steps of getting back to um, our former glory. And we're almost there. We just got to figure out how to get to the West Garden, which I'm pretty sure is the final one which we need to do. Um, Stat-wise, yeah, it, it is our final stat and it's an important stat. Let's not shirk defense, of course. I assume we go this way because this is like a blink path and the other path is blocked off. So I assume we're going to have some puzzle, some fight we're going to have to do. I don't know who might be here. Who knows? Um, it doesn't seem like anything's here, which is interesting. You know, I think all, most of the others we had to have like a little fight for. Oh, Jesus, what's that? It's a corrupted like alligator or something. What's even this? Why is it so dark in here? Is there something here? There might be something in, but I don't know. Should we see what the corrupted alligator is like? How it fights? Uh, quite quite weak. Which is good. I guess because we're quite strong. Maybe we um not necessarily meant to have attack by this point. Uh, I can see the statue that way. Really? I can't jump to that. Um, okay. I'm kind of surprised by that, to be honest. Are we meant to jump somewhere else? Jump here? You're joking, I can't make that. Okay, so we must be able to jump there somehow. Or maybe there's an alternative path over here? I mean, it looks like there's something here. Or down back behind there? Is this meant to be a puzzle section where we try and figure out actually how to get to the statue? That's interesting, actually. Oh no, hold on. There's a path here. Right, okay. Did it. Also a battery up here, which apparently we never prayed to, which is interesting. I guess we couldn't before. Ah, this is a teleport point. No wonder I didn't get a teleport point. I, I literally couldn't make it to it. We couldn't even power it up anyway, but this is probably a good time to get it. Why not? I don't know how we get to it. Oh, oh okay. Well, I, I guess we have it now, but... I don't know what we do with that. Maybe maybe when we go back to the teleporter, we'll find out a use for it. It's got like hidden stats or something. Oh, excuse me. It's got like hidden stats or something somewhere for us to do something with. Okay. So wherein lies the difficulty? And the difficulty is how do we get to the statue? I don't know why I'm going this way, but maybe there's like hidden things back here, which I couldn't access before. Oh gosh, that's a spooky sound, wasn't it? Oh hello, you're just chilling. Dead. There's just a load of corrupted alligators everywhere. Which are not that spooky, to be honest. They're kind of cute, but more like relatively not too strong. Um. Why is the music just stopped? I guess this is where we fought the boss, but... Right, now how do we get down there? I don't know if we're meant to be up here necessarily. This is kind of like going in this direction. This is going to the bell tower, isn't it? Long loading screen, huh? Yeah, it's blocked off. It's blo blocked off a rubble. Oh no, the most impassable of all video game boundaries. Right, so where do we have to go to get down there then? I think we're too high up right now. I'm too high, can't get down. Oh, we've got another one of those doors there as well. Wait, how did we even get here? Oh, I climbed up a ladder. Oh, I climbed up this rope, that's right. Wait, how do we even get to that door? It looks like there's a path over there to the right. Okay, well noted. Um, we should try and get to that door as well, but... I think we have to go under this bridge somewhere, then 
I don't really know. Um. Oh! I don't know where I am. Is this good? Where am I? Am I on like a hidden path? What what is going on? Where am I? Huh? I'm in the wall? Oh no, don't tell me I've glitched out. How did I do it? Oh what what? <laughs> we we did it? Huh? I'm so confused. Um seems there's a little bit of glitchiness when it comes to blinking around all over the place, which is to be expected. Right, so this is where we were earlier. I don't know if it's necessarily where we want to be. I also didn't mean to speak to you again. No offence, I'm, I'm sure you have very interesting things to say. Um, there's that alternative path. Oh yeah, through, through the, the alligators, somehow. Oh, there's a... There's that thing over there. I wonder if we can make it there. But how? I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I guess we can make that here. I don't know. There's like no excuse to ever really get hit again. Now we have an infinite blink dodge. I don't know why we also defeated those alligators. What's this for? It's just like a, a nice tree. This feels like an easter egg of some sort. So there's no way. Maybe we just like... What if we just meditate? We just sit here? Something happens? Expecting something to happen? I don't know. I bet we had to do something here later. Same with um, that leafy grove area we saw before. I don't even know how you get over there. Oh, there's a lot of corruption. Um... I'm not really sure where we're trying to... Well, I know where we're trying to go. I just don't know how on earth we can even remotely get there. Well, we're here. Which seems promising. Wasn't it around here somewhere? That's where we started. I don't really know what we're doing. I thought there was like a ladder or a rope here previously. Maybe it was that rope and it just got turned around. Turn around. Give me your hand, darling. Okay, where have we not gone? That's a good question. I don't know. There's probably a path I just didn't spot. I forgot about this path. I don't know if it's necessarily what we want or need. This is not what I want. This is not what I need. It sort of surprises me how why oh, you can really blink sometimes. I do not understand something's not right, really wrong. And I'm sorry, I'm just singing High School Musical for no apparent reason. <laughs> it's in my head. And you might be like, whoa, you know, dear darling, is it this around the time that you watched Off Book Musical? Um, not, not in real life, of course, but in the YouTube video. Oh, we haven't gone this way. Is that not something which is stuck in your head constantly? And the answer is very much true. Remember. Atticus Finch. Justice is... Oh, we haven't been here. Nice. That's why we defeat the enemy, so then we know if it's somewhere we haven't been or not. Remember. Justice is a cinch. Oh, hello. You're just fishing. Fish, fish, fish. I'm going to catch a fish. I bet that's what you say. So it's just two paths to get here for some reason. All right. I guess one of them we see a fisherman and the other way we don't. Okay. Well, we got a statue, so that's pretty good. So we've thrown six in. So we need to throw ten in for the next one. Well, there's no point really throwing in one until we get the other four. Oh, we can do this, I suppose. Um, uh, da, da. Is that not right? 
down, right, up, left, up, right, down. What? Down, right, up, left, up, right. There we go. Just took a little bit of effort. Bit of a treasure chest. Oh, already have one. But dual wielding? No, I I genuinely thought they might have let us dual wield. That's interesting. Why did they give us another sword? I wonder if that's just an Easter egg. Well, we can do something with it. Do you think we can recruit someone as our ally and be like, here you go, here's a sword? Oh, wasn't there a path over here? I, I was like, this would be useful to go down, but I don't remember where it is. Where the heck am I? I thought there was somewhere else I wanted to go, but I don't. Oh, I want to go down this path to go to that area to get the sword, but we already got the sword, so I guess that's kind of like defeated the purpose now. Here we go. We, we, we finally made it to the statue. Took a little bit of elbow grease. And now I guess we need to take on the air after we get the stat upgrade. Which is weird, because I don't feel like I'm particularly like ready enough to take on the air. I don't feel much stronger, if anything. I guess technically I am, because I've really gotten back my stat upgrades, which are pretty important. And to be fair, we have the instant blink dash, so theoretically I shouldn't get hit again. Your body is restored. Restored corporeal form. Nice. Um. Oh yeah, we, 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 we literally aren't a ghost anymore. Ah, does that mean we don't see the ghosts everywhere anymore? That'd be really sad. So I guess we go this way. Oh god. Um... Oh, okay. Yep, yeah, sure. It's very hard to decide what you can and what you can't walk on. But music stopping is always very ominous. Don't you think? I'm just sort of like, what's going to happen? I don't even remember what was this way. Right. <laughs> nope. <laughs> um, so I don't know which... we got to find, what's the closest teleport point to a statue? Because we're going to be back and forth a lot. Probably the library, right? Because the, the, the healing point of a library is really close to the teleport point. Well, what I basically mean is we're going to have to find a teleport point, which is really close to um, a healing statue. I don't remember which one's a library teleport point as well. Um, bottom right, okay. Because we're going to be dying a lot on this um, air fight. And I don't mean air fight as in like air guitar, but um, we're going to be dying a lot. So we're going to have to find a statue which is close by. So we respawn a lot, you know, minimize the distance traveled. We can also, I suppose, get some more HP while we're at it. Which feels weird now because... The air we're offering to is not on our side. So I wonder if it would like take away our HP. That'd be very funny. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be funny actually, but it would be interesting. So if we're offering it to... How, how does this work? Wow, there's actually more stat upgrades for HP. That's crazy. There's stuff we can afford, we just haven't found it yet. I wonder what the max stat upgrade is. And I also wonder if we need a Holy Cross to be able to... um actually defeat the air or not because everyone is mentioning this holy cross but i don't know what it is also we've got this teleport point over here which we um can actually check out now in the western gardens i don't know if it's really got anything for us it probably just has like a secret stat upgrade or something is my guess what hmm what's this share your wisdom clearing of a game or seeking an end Oh, it, it was a, it's a tutorial we're picking up. Take your rightful place. Share your wisdom. Use the power of a holy cross and traverse a golden path. The fairy spring. Ah, okay. So this is... It, are there two possible endings? Like, ending A is we take your rightful place. We go fight and defeat the air right now. We become the next air. We we don't solve a systematic corruption, I suppose, which is in place. We just become the next air for the next air to be able to take us down as well. And the cycle repeats itself. Or we share our wisdom. So we had to go get this MacGuffin of a Holy Cross and traverse a golden path and then come back for it. Maybe. 
What, what does any of us mean? Where is the fairy spring? Oh god, this is like... So this must be that, the true ending, or whatever we have to do. What I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fight the air first, I suppose. And get like our non-true ending. And then and then we can figure out, you know, we'll, we'll jump back in, I suppose, probably before we fight the air, if that's possible, and try and find a secret ending. That, that's normally how these sort of games go. You can do your non-true ending and then it gives you a thing where it's like, whoa, hold on, this isn't all happy and stuff. We Are you sure this is the ending you wanted? And then we go, oh, okay, no, it's not. Let's do the true ending. Um, let's just try and figure out Aura's gem. Again, I don't know what any of this is. Probably blocking isn't very important now. I think dodging is more important. I don't know what that did. Did that give us more HP? Lucky cup. Lucky Cup screams to me we have a chance of dodging or something. Um, tincture is higher attack, lower defense, which might actually be a good idea because if we're relying on dodging... Oh, we've already got it equipped. Okay, good job me, I suppose. Um, the rest of the stuff I don't really know. Peril Ring screams to me low on health. Get more attack, more defense. Anklet probably is more speed. Perfume is, I, I bet, like item efficacy. Tincture, as we said, attack up, defense down. Bracer means, okay, lower stamina drain on being hit with the shield. I don't think we even have Bracer, but that sounds like it would be pretty good. No, we don't have it. Um, Muffling Bell, of course, we know is a lower aura radius. Louder Echoes, probably our echo does more damage when we pick it up. Scavenger's Mask, we know. Dagger Strap, I assume is more range, but even then I don't know. Or maybe it's attack faster or something. Actually, we should, we should try that. Hold on. Fire one is no HP, but super damage. Magic echo. I don't even know. Aura's gem. I bet Aura's gem is something like you get magic back when you block attacks or something. Ah, Dagger Strap is we don't do that final attack. No, I don't. What the heck's Dagger Strap then? I don't know. Let's go fight the yeah, Evan. Let's go get our fake true ending. Or attempt to. Holy moly, what is going on? What is... This is disorientating. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Oh god. Oh, dodge. Drink. No. Drink. Okay. Not many good opportunities to drink potions in this game. Okay. That does not interrupt you, it turns out. <laughs> this is going to be a tough fight, obviously. It should be. Uh, we, we need to rely on not getting hit, I think, more than um, healing. So I think we should play it slow. I think the stun, the tentacle stun, is a really good idea. And I think maybe bombs might be the way forward. Oh, we've got four bombs now. We should just start using Molotov so we get enough for, like, um... The one Molotov. Where's my thing? It's over here. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Three hits. It'd be nice if you took... You Self damage from that. Okay, we, we do not have enough time for two hits. Oh god. Okay, you, you have a free hit pattern with a, with a sword. We're, we're, we're slowly piecing together your attacks. We're not going to have enough time to defeat you on this episode, probably. I mean, if we do, that would be miraculous. Oh god. Uh, okay, so you have a free hit combo. You have, you summon, there's two. Three things you summon from the sky. One is a big one circle radiating for me. The other is a triple radiating like in a Venn diagram. The other is just the falling stars where you just have to continuously run. You have a, a range attack. We should try and shield block some of these attacks as well. You actually got stunned a really long time because of that. Oh, that's a really cool attack.
Okay. Just chucking bomb. Keep you keep you honest. I did not need to heal. Okay. I, I saw it, I, I saw it didn't interrupt you, and I was like, no way. Oh god, that's such a difficult attack to dodge. I, I saw it coming, and I couldn't dodge it. Okay. It's hard to distinguish the lunge attack, and then the sword comes out and spins, and the normal lunge. So I think, in every case, when, it, when you lunge at us, we just run. We don't even try and get in damage. We say that's a null attack. We, that's, not, that's not safe on dodge, not safe on block, for now. Um... I also don't think the tentacle thing is that great because not only do they jump backwards, they also don't really get stunned. I can't imagine they get frozen, so it might just be a raw damage thing. Well, we just try and hit a huge shotgun blast in their face. And this fight almost certainly has multiple phases where you'll probably evolve throughout the phase, so we're going to have to think about how to deal with that. We're not going to use any of these items for now because we, I, I think we need to discover more of your attacks before we actually um, think about how this works. But I, I don't know. I, I guess if, in, in this little period where we normally have at the end of two episodes, we'll try and figure out a little bit about what is going on with a fairy spring. The thing is, we don't know what these areas are. And we don't know if they've been ticked off or not. Hold on, how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's 20 of them. That's, there was 25 on there, so that's not necessarily linked. The final treasure is on a 6x6. Six six. So that's even more confusing. Where is the fairy spring? The holy cross. Is that thing of the overworld? I forgot what happened when we tried to open that door. 49, the golden path. Hold on. I mean, that's a golden path. It relates to the Dormer Mountains, maybe? Or do we have to do this stuff and then go to the Dormer Mountains? This is how we get the Holy Cross, but we haven't found the Holy Cross yet. Unless we need to open those three doors we found on the left. We found this top one. Actually, I think we found all three of them. No, we haven't found the bottom one, maybe. I don't remember. Hidden Secrets. Something, something, the Holy Cross. Don't know what that left arrow is. Oh, maybe we had to find this one in particular. This door in the image here. I don't know. And then it looks like we had to find like a fairy spirit, like a like a a sea sea lay from Genshin Impact or um what uh, what are those fairy a navi from Legend of Zelda? And I don't really know what the seeking spell is. And then I guess we had to go to the secret gathering place to get the final treasure. The Seeking Spell obviously is this path thing being drawn out, but again, I don't know how we interface to that. Nor do we even know where any of this stuff is. Hmm. I would guess those doors we found might be these, these areas, right? Which we had to find. Because we found one of the West Garden, true. What was the other one we found? One is in the overworld. And the other, no, there's two in the overworld. But we don't know what any of this means, so it's going to be really hard if we can't translate this. I can't... Does this, is this a game where they want us to translate the language? That sounds hard. I mean, I know I've done it for Fez, but... Huh. Thing is, I don't really know how letters work in this. In Fez, it looks very, very obviously one to one to English, but I don't see how it works with this immediately. Why is there an E in the middle there? This must be clearing the game. This must be seeking an end or something like that. Um, I don't. I don't really have any theories of a fairy spring. I don't even know where it could be, is a thing. Where, where have we been, which we couldn't... 
explore before or something like that. I also just noticed the hero's grave teleporter is on this page as well. It's underneath the dialog box right at the right. <laughs> That's so great. This game is full of these tiny little secrets. It's actually astonishing. So I bet if we pay enough attention to the stuff here, we might actually be able to find the fairy spring. But it's also that entire like lower area of the, the old burying ground, which feel very felt very useless. Um... I'm just sort of like looking in the backgrounds now trying to find something obvious that we missed. The Holy Cross has something to do with a cathedral. That's true, it is mentioned here. And the librarian does mention it himself. He brings it up. We still never figured out what this musical thing is to do with a bird who run away, I guess. Oh my god, there's like so much we haven't done. <laughs> it's, it's actually crazy. How is there so much we haven't learned about yet do you think the fairy spring is that hidden like glen we found glen's not the right word clearing in this area mm. there's also you see there's a little marking on the left there on the fortress of the eastern vault like one of those door patterns on that on that pillar on the left there's a square with that those tracing door patterns i don't know if that means anything but there's also this thing there's a question mark in the under the well to the left so I wonder if that's another one which we need to go to, to do something. Because the question marks very much seem like teleporters or something. What did we do? And I need to go back and watch a previous video. I don't remember what happened when we inputted the, the secret code onto the golden thing. Also, surprising we don't have this part of the thing yet. Actually, that's a starry thing. Hold on, page 49. On the bottom left. Huh. Wonder what that's gonna mean. <laughs> Lucky cup, so that, that seems to me like fifteen percent chance of dodging attack or something. Hmm. I'm just seeing if there's something which I forgot about from early on. Page forty one over there as well. Crazy. I wonder if it references these very late pages. It's interesting. Also, these punch cards have a left over there for the bombs. I still don't really know what the doubling thing means, but... So much just I like, don't understand. I wonder if you 100% the game, everything gets up, like unlocked for you. I suppose if you 100% the game, it kind of means you, you kind of understand everything, don't you? Again, with a prize and treasure. Look, it's got like a punch card pattern, like with dots around it. I don't, what does that mean? Save date is interesting as well. I wonder if we should make a copy of our save right now. Hold on. Load game save data. Un I didn't see the save data. Oh, it's on, it's on the screen, the front screen, isn't it? Question mark, question mark, question mark? It's amazing how many things they hid in, like, plain sight for us. I still don't really know. I bet this little symbol at the bottom here is, like... <laughs> something which makes sense once you're 100% of the game. I don't really know what to do apart from defeat the boss. At the very least, I, su I suppose, you know, we'll round this episode up here. Oh my god, it's been 30 minutes. It's just 10 minutes of me thinking. Um, we'll, we'll defeat the boss. Uh, I'm going to try and make a copy of my save data just in case. I, I, I can't know. There's not going to be a point of no return. I'd rather not accidentally delete my data or something. I don't know. We're, we're, I just got to figure something out. But anyway, we'll figure it out next time. So if you haven't watching, thank you very much. I've been Tunic. I've been Dear Darling. Likes, comments, subscription, shares. Excuse me. Greatly appreciated. Twitter, Discord down below. Hope we see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye-bye for now.